Hi, guys, welcome to another Minecraft Mod tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to add the GUI to your block. So, if you haven't watched the last tutorial, you basically did all of this code, and it wasn't very long. We did all of this code here, which does the slots for add GUI. So, if you want to get started, you want to actually make it not a class. So, if you want to get started, you want to make a new package and not blocks is going to be client dot gui so other stuff that's going to be in the client will be here so it's going to add client dot gui and then here i want to add gui mini chest boom so then this needs to extend gui container and uh if it just import this it's going to make us want to add a constructor which takes in the container which we're not going to do we're actually going to do a new and it's going to be container mini chest but this needs the player inventory and the actual tile entity so we're going to do the same as before we're gonna just have a private tile entity mini chest and gonna call that to you and we're gonna have a private i inventory and that's going to be called player inventory so we're just going to get them and we're going to take these in the constructor so i inventory uh, player inventory and tile entity mini chest te and there you go that will do that and then just want to initialize these so this dot te equals te and this dot player inv is equal to player inv there we go so in here we need to actually set the x and y size so this dot x size so i've opened down here this is my gy you should have seen this last week so the x and the y so x is how long it is and i've told you that pretty much every single one is 156 long so the x size is going to be equal to 176 yeah that's just that then this dot y size is equal to how tall it is so if we just go down to the bottom pixel on the bottom as is in fact 122 tall so this dot y size equals 122 now this is going to make us want to add some new methods this draw container background layer and basically in the text files i got the background layer one here which just paste crap which you just paste these in for the background layer and control shift o for these so here is the location of your texture which i need to do so if you just just like make a gui you can look anything you want obviously you can download the guis that i've made so if you want to just edit that you know just customize it and then uh, textures then here you want to add a new folder called GUI and in this folder you want to add container and there we go and then if we just copy and paste our mini chest from my Dropbox there we go so just refresh these and that that's the location to it don't forget to put your unlocalized name here and basically this just draws a textured model with at the location which basically just draws the background but that's the background we need to actually do the foreground so this is like if you want to make it so when you hover over stuff it like says stuff but that's not for this tutorial it's okay but I'm going to make it so it displays a uh, mini chest on the top and inventory here. So you just want to go into the other text file, copy and paste this method here, and there you go. 88 is your height. No. 88 is um, uh, the top point. So for mine, it's. 88 yeah 88 along for the middle that's what it's going to be so you just just like leave this 
this should like automatically do everything for you don't have to touch it so we've made a GUI but we need to actually register that we have a GUI so in the handlers package you want to add a GUI handler boom so this GUI handler is in fact going to implement a IGY handler and if we just import this it's going to make us want to add two methods I believe yeah so get client GUI element and get server GUI element and I'll go through that in a second so um, what I'm going to do I'm actually going to register the handler so you have to register the handler which registers the GUIs and you register the handler here so I'm going to add a new well really we could do it in the register render method but uh, I'm gonna add a new one the so public void register and I'm going to register GUI handler and to register it it's network registry so this uses proxies so it's like done on a uh, common proxy network registry dot instance dot register GUI handler and then the mod this is actually our instance which is bit of everything dot instance now we made this back in episode one I believe or two, one of them, don't quote me on it, and basically, <laughs> yeah, so here we just want to do a new GUI, handler, hit, and that will just register it, but we need to actually go into here, and it's in fact in the init, so if you want to do proxy dot register GUI handler, there we go, we've registered our GUI handler, now we need to register our GUIs. So, for each GUI, you actually have a GUI ID. So, I'm going to have a private static final mini underscore chest. And that's going to be the ID. And my ID is just going to be zero. So basically, oh, I forgot to say it's an int. Mine's going to be zero. So basically, um, if you have like another one, you'd put that as one. It's just so that the game knows which GUI you're going to. So now in both of these, we want to have an if statement. So this ID here is in fact, if we like say we want to open it, it will call a zero. So you want to check whether it's called a zero. So what you want to do is if ID is equal to mini underscore chest. And we need this in both. We're going to fill this in in a second. Why? Why you do that? I mean, like really. And then, um, in the server method, we want to hit return a new container. Container, and it's going to be container mini chest. Can take in a player inventory and that. So, yeah. But here we need to actually say the player inventory is player dot inventory, and then the tile entity is in fact world dot get tile entity at a new block pass. I'm going to just take in the in x, y, z. And and you just want to cast this to a mini chest to make sure just to like say that it should be a mini chest if it's being called. So we've done that there, but we're actually in the uh, client method we need to return the GUI. So this is going to return a new GUI mini chest which again needs the inventory so player dot inventory
and then the tile entity is again we might as well just copy and paste this here boom 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 so yeah so um in our block we need to actually say to open the inventory when you right click it so there's a method called on block activated which is basically when you right click the block and you just want to return true by the way true but before we return the true we need to actually check if the world is remote so if world in dot is remote we want to check whether we want to make sure it isn't remote so you put an exclamation mark to say that if it isn't and then what you want to do is player in dot open GUI then the mod we want to do bit of everything dot instance the mod GUI ID you want to do GUI handler dot and if we go in here uh, make this public do handler dot mini chest and I don't know what that happened the world is world in and x y and z is pos dot get x pos dot get y and pos dot get z and that will in fact open up our GUI so if you run our game we should fingers crossed that everything works because the last three tutorials have been trying to get this done and I just hope it works so let's just wait for the game to load up okay so the game is loaded up so if we go into our test world we can fingers crossed it works now I know something's gonna happen when we open it we are gonna see it but it's gonna say stuff so if we get a mini chest right click it you see contain the dot mini chest and also it's not been named here so we've got a GUI so uh, I'm just gonna stick the block of copper in there and we save it we go back in and we should see that inside here is the block of copper so that means that it does in fact save it great start now if you go over to here and to our language file we can in fact sort out that problem with the naming so uh, I'm just going to open it with the text editor and then uh, on the bottom I'm going to have container dot and it's mini underscore chest I believe container dot mini underscore chest yeah and that's equal to mini chest here and I'm also going to just put on the here tile dot mini underscore chest dot name is equal to mini chest so if I just press F3 and T and the game will freeze for a bit because it's just going to reload all the textures and when it's done that it should have a name and obviously the item is going to be named and we should see a working GUI with our block fingers crossed everyone so mini chest yep and it's called a mini chest so we got a GUI guys so this is this is this has been a highly requested tutorial this one and tile entities so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial I am out don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial so yeah go check them out <laughs>